What's going on, everybody? It's Childish back at it again, coming at you with another video for Awaken Keras Era. In today's video, we're gonna get you all caught up with regards to our progression and, of course, our newest toy, our newest legendary that we recently pulled the Vera. Now, I apologize in advance because when it comes to my content and the videos and what I generally like to save my summons for you guys so we could do them in the videos, but but I just couldn't help myself. I got a couple of uh uh summons there in our last hero promotion event and i'm like you know what i'm just gonna pop in this whatever it's not like i'm gonna get the legendary right and what do i do i get my literally my first legendary since the initial like rookie summons here so yeah funny enough guys i'm gonna keep it real with you though avira when i pulled her i took a look at her kit and i was like i don't really know what to think about her but after talking with a lot of people and of course you know investing into her building her up uh you know putting some relatively you know average gear a little bit better than average gear we were able to uh, see some true potential in her and get ourselves to a point to where we can well we were excuse me we were able to okay we got <laughs> so uh, I, I want to keep it real with you here it is it, generally not that bad when we're artifying but basically we have we have invested enough into her um that has allowed us to essentially auto uh the final stage of wrathful blood uh, wrathful flood so again uh, really, really cool. Again, out of all the dungeons that you see right here, this is the one that I've been, uh, I guess, you know, the only one that I've cleared uh, to the maxer. So I'm really excited about that because obviously, guys, you guys know, uh, this is where we need to get our skillers for the unit. So I think it's absolutely important, especially for the fact that Hydrissa, my main legendary hero, uh, is the one that I'm trying to, uh, you know, skill up and get ready so that I can farm a little bit easier uh, as far as, you know, just the regular content goes. So yeah, let's go ahead and showcase the unit, the teams that we've been using here. Um, again, this is kind of where we're at right now. Uh, I think in the last video, you saw me basically with like a five star Hydrusia. Uh, and then when we were using a combination of um, basically Mary and Connor for our support units. And then what uh, we were utilizing like Zachary uh, or uh, Hakron as far as our, you know, extra DPS or extra tank and whatnot here. So now uh, we do have Hydrusia six star. We do have a Vera six star. Uh, if you guys haven't seen this one, so again, this is a pretty unique kit here. So we got this uh, rage counter that like that has a little, it's like a little orange bar right underneath her, her health and whatnot here that essentially, you know, counts up to four. And then after uh, we get to four, you get a bonus attack with the artillery support uh, upon, mixing, uh, upon reaching max rage. And if I recall correctly, the artillery support is like the, uh, you know, like the AOE damage, if I, if I recall correctly. Um, I, it looks to be AOE damage. I don't know if that's just, you know, a coincidence here, but it, it, I seen it proc a couple of times uh, after I did the ultimate. I'm like, whoa, that's that's like crazy amount of damage, right? It's like double AOE action. So not too bad, not too bad, right? Uh, this skill, this ultimate ability here, uh, the uh, ultimatum essentially uh, is an AOE damage, uh, multi hit ability, and then it also provides the attack up for three turns. So again, uh, self buffing attack up. You know, I used to be like, oh my god, like it's just self attack buff. You're like, no big, you know, not not super crazy, right? But basically that that ultimate essentially trickles into every single skill that she has um, to provide her even more damage here. So again, as you guys can see right here, uh, 80 damage and removes a positive effect from the enemy target, which this for me is one of the things that really like reminded me how good she actually is because there's a lot of units, especially these dungeon bosses in the game that have buffs upon buffs upon buffs. Um, and so it's very, very important to, you know, in incorporate a unit that only, really, you know, can provide some damage here, but provides a little bit of utility and, and being, able, being able to strip buffs um, especially for those boss stages are going to be absolutely amazing here. Uh, in addition to that, we also have a bleeding tech right here, which again, bleeding, uh, I haven't seen, I mean, I haven't really paid attention to the amount of value that it provides here. Um, I know that there's been people out there that have, you know, tested bleeding, tested poison comps and whatnot here. But uh, outside of that, like it, I really haven't seen a ton of value here. I'm sure it's pretty good when you, uh, you know, you know, bring it up here. But I, right now, I know you guys are going to laugh right now. Right now, my attack is a little bit uh, a little bit lower than it generally is, so I'm not getting as much value of it. And the reason why is that because I, I'm using my second like strongest like essentially attacker set on it, and it's a rage set. So it's, I don't think this is like an optimal thing to do, considering the fact of how bleeding works here. But again, uh, this particular set, while it dropped the attack on it, it made my all my attacks a lot more reliable because I was literally critting every single time and that recent change that i had i think i'm going to try to see if i remember to show you guys a picture of her stats per you know prior to versus they are now i mean these stats here are near 100 critical right here this this extra damage that i'm getting on the skill you know com combined with all the bonus attacks that we've been getting um it's actually pretty nice will this be like an end game set for her definitely not you know i'm going to go ahead and prove it probably utilize the warrior set so we can get a little bit more value uh through that attack here because again the the rage set to me is not a good set for four, four you know four pieces to get yourself 
uh, 20 say critical rate is not really good value but out of all the sets that i have currently um uh, you know i could burn broken sets or whatever but the, the sub sets are just not really good this is the only one that's actually fairly well so yeah uh, between these two you know these are my main damage dealers in the game utilizing them for everything and anything that i can do and then like i said before we have mary uh that we've been working on getting dissensions going on here uh for support we got connor for support uh and then again outside of that we we were utilizing zachary and uh and, and hacker in here uh so yeah outside of that yeah that's pretty much it you know we got a couple of units out there that we can mess around with as far as like poison comms or whatnot but since we don't got gangelo uh we really haven't done anything uh with these units here right now my the goal for me is to you know obviously it was initially to get this one up to 60 so we can improve our runs when it comes to uh, you know, farming, glyph farming, you know, dungeon farming and whatnot here. And now I'm kind of going back and forth between a wide variety of things, whether it's just, you know, getting my, uh, getting my arena wings done so I can finally get my Zatlux or getting my, you know, glyph farming in so I can get everybody to a level five tier. Um, I don't have everybody on level five tier. Uh, most of them are on tier four, or tier five. Uh, and then also, you know, obviously, you know, working in the dungeons here. Uh, so we can get ourselves some skill ups for these units here. Cause again, as you guys know, legendary skill ups, are some of the hardest skill ups to do. Uh, but you know, if you can farm the last stage, you know, you'll, you'll eventually get there over time here. So funny enough, it looks like uh, one of the new quests that we got going on here is the arena competition, right? So we got to get this done. And I'm, I'm happy to just do a couple of random matches if I can, uh, because of the fact that this is like this, I mean, it's been fairly easy for me. And the reason why it's been fairly, I'm going to show you right now, in addition to pulling the, uh, what's it called? The, uh, the new unit of here. I ended up getting Windstrex as well, as you guys saw right there. So we, we slapped on like a 150 set on her. Um, and you know, she's doing pretty good here. Um, give me a second though. What we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to slap on a couple of, we're going to slap on a couple of warrior sets or whatnot here. I did recently, uh, de -rune this one just so that I can get myself, um, and just so that I can get myself. I wanted to try out, I had the rage set originally on Zachary. And now I wanted to try it out here on uh, on Avira here. And like I said, so far so good. I'm gonna keep that, you know, where it is. Again, this is not a really, really good set at all. Um, but you know, it is what it is. We're just gonna utilize it. Now, the good thing about the situation is, is that if you do have wind strikes, you already know what to do, right? You literally, you know, ruin it up as fast as possible. You know, get the uh, speed buff here so you can get yourself the first round, everybody. And I'm just gonna cleave them. There's nothing really, uh, there's nothing really to this composition here, so. Uh, funny enough, though, I want to say I can't remember the name. I know you guys are going to leave a comment in the comment section down below. I think it might be Kyle. Kyle is another unit out there that, if I recall correctly, he's a unit that can mimic uh, a, a unit, and he could like he literally can mimic the um, the unit's like abilities, right? So he can he can literally do what Windstrix does. Um, you know, if you get him fast enough, and if I recall correctly, he actually has a very very high base speed, really really good. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely down with that. So again, uh, now take a look at that skill. I did the I did the AOE right. I did the AOE on Avira, if I recall correctly, and she did the skill, but she also did like she did an extra attack there, which is kind of crazy to me because again, I think I'm missing something about her mechanic because I did not see her rage counter all the way through. But maybe, maybe it's something built into the skill that I didn't. I must have missed. Um, but either way, it really doesn't matter, right? Um, we we were able to get the kill. I'm gonna take a look at it again. I'm gonna do one more round here because again, I, like I said, when I initially saw Avira, I was like. Is she really that good? I mean, yeah, she's self buffed. She got some bonus turns, but like, can she really turn up? I don't, I don't really know here. So um, let me see if I can find, of course, what I do is I find all the ones that are like super hard. Let me do I'll just do a level 45 so we don't get blasted here. Again, this is, I know this is like super silly to showcase because it's just random things, but random uh, training matches here. But I'm trying to see uh, what, what, what we're missing here. Oh, 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 oh. I didn't re realize I was on auto here. Hold on, here we go, here we go. Okay, so let's get a defense break here. And again, I'm not missing anything, right? She has no rage counter. All she has, all we're doing here is the uh, the AOE. And let's see what happens after that. Again, I feel like she got, uh, yeah, look at that. See what I'm saying? Did, did I miss something there? I didn't see anything there. I'm, I must have missed something, unless that's part of her skill, part of her mechanics, so I don't know. Interesting, interesting. But yeah, guys, um, that's pretty much what we've been doing right now, again, uh, making sure we're doing all of our wings whenever we get them, making sure, I mean, making sure we're doing all the days, all the stuff that you guys are, have uh, been accustomed to. Yeah, we just been, we just been working on that. Now, let me take a look here. I, you know me, like if I got summons, I'm going to go ahead and drop it right here, but it's not, it's not going to be, 
is if I have one summon, it's not going to be a lot here. I'll take a look. Take a look. Do we got one? We got, we got two. We got two. Okay. So again, fam, um, for those who don't know, if you guys haven't been checking it out already, uh, we actually have been doing some bonus streams, uh, generally, you know, on Twitch, twitch.tv slash chowders402. The link is in the description down below. We generally stream Summoner's Wars Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday, but I had random days where I literally just hopped on because again, I'm playing on an emulator, I have to be in front of the you know PC to do it. So I'm like, okay, well, if I'm gonna play and just level up my account, I might as well do it on stream and, and hang out with you guys, right? So if you guys wanna stop on by, show your support, hit the link in the description down below, and hopefully you can catch us there. Again, if I'm streaming Summoner's War, uh, don't feel bad about like, you know, come on over and get yourself, you know, get yourself, um, oh, wow, nice. I think I, I think it's my second one here. Um, just hang on over and you can feel free to ask any questions. I apologize in advance, because I'm a pleb. But, you know, I can't answer everything, but I would love to hang out. I'd love to talk shop. It's all good. You don't have to, you don't have to like be there uh, on the day that I do the, the you know, the A stream. You know, if you're, if you're for somebody's way and have a question, I'd, I'd be more than happy to answer it. In addition to that, we also have the Discord as well, fam. So if you want to hop on over there, uh, feel free to do so as well. So, hey, uh, Gajar, got a, got a Gajar, I think that's how you pronounce it here. I uh, got another copy of him. Uh, again, we already have them at a four star here, so that's going to be kind of nice. I don't, I don't think there's any reason to keep uh, an additional one, right? We might as well just ascend it. I feel like that's going to be the case. That's what I'm going to do here, but I'll, I'll go ahead and hold on to it right now, um, as I got a couple of things to do. And again, as a, as of right now, um, nothing really else going on here. Um, you know, overall, pretty happy with it. You know, we'll get some skill up on these units here. Again, we're going to keep on working our way um, throughout the quest line. Um, we have been doing a little bit of the Endless Trials, Void Towers. We got some work to do here. We kind of got stuck um, on 55, which is kind of low for me right now. But um, that's because the majority, like 99% of the Sages, I was autoing. And we've made vast improvements since the last time I hopped on here. So I'm going to make sure that I jump in here because we got 19 days to do it. I know I'm going to be the guy that's like going to forget to like do it. So you guys remind me if you see me on Twitch, okay? Remind me. Get over there and uh, we'll, we'll make it happen. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We can't cut, we can't cut the video off. I found one more scroll off. I, Mazas, I'm gonna, I'm gonna apologize right now. Shouts out to Mazas one time. Uh, he, he's, he's a childish, you know, a little birdie told me there might be, there might be a, there might be like a little summon, you know, thing going on down the road. I'm like, you know what, man, I can't hold back. I'm free to play fam. This is the first time I've made it as long as I have uh, free to play. I think it may be one other game I've made it. Um, you know, like the free to play or whatever for maybe 30 days, but I'm trying to see if I can make it to 30 days. That'd be great. No luck there. No gold. We got, we got so many Anna's. Oh my goodness gracious. But anyways, fam, I think that's going to be it for the video. Uh, you know, down the road, uh, I think what I would like to do is climb up into the arena. You know, once we get some better, you know, units built up, we get a little more gear. I'd like to showcase a little bit of PPP, kind of seeing the composition that people bring out there. Again, I, I, my, my particular strategy right now is like every, everybody else's strategy. It's nothing too crazy, but I'm actually curious to see what are the kind of compositions people set up on their arena defense so that we can get some ideas. Like the last thing that I saw as of recent is somebody actually, when they weren't doing their like arena offense, like they, apparently they must have slapped on their win struck set on uh, their Mary. So the Mary was outrageously fast, put up her buffs and like literally we just got smacked in the face because we couldn't do anything. They had the invertibility here. So we literally lost, you know, two turns here and we just let them kind of smack us because we came in there with Windrex and three damages and there's nothing we could do. We had no sustain here. So again, uh, I'm curious to see what other things people do. I think it's going to be really, really cool to see how the meta evolves when we get more units here. And again, uh, I'm looking to test out some other units here. Again, I'll show my, show my list real quick. So you guys can see what we got rocking right now. Uh, if you guys have any recommendations uh, as far as, you know, what to build, who to six star, whatnot here. Again, uh, been focused on the damage dealers right around. You know, obviously we'll, we'll work on Mary, we'll work on Connor. So those are gonna be instrumental units uh, for, you know, uh, dungeons and fun, you know, basically just regular content down the road. Um, we did, I don't know if you guys saw in the last stream there, we did get Lightwing Zachary. Um, pretty interesting kit, can do some Agdora defense here, but I haven't, I haven't found any reason to go out of my way to build them like this minute again, because I'm kind of focused on progression. So I think that'll be a unit that I'll play with down the road. Uh, that being said though, fam, please feel free to correct me in the chat. Uh, as I said before, when I, you know, I, am not one to compare myself, uh, you know, to other YouTubers out there, but I, this game here, I'm absolutely enjoying it. Uh, I can't get enough of it, but, but I will say this, I haven't, uh, I haven't sat there and like literally grinded out the game, uh, like theory crafted the game as hard as I generally do in games like this, because it's just so, 
busy with everything going on with other games and of course the holiday season that's uh, literally right around the corner here. so uh let me know what you guys think about everything that we got going on with our account uh if you have any recommendations as always leave it in the comment section down below okay uh as always fam if you guys enjoy this content you want to see more you all know what to do like the video subscribe to the channel and we will see you guys all in the next one take care